video has emerged of an employee of the Tunisian embassy based in the Libyan capital Tripoli pleading for his life and begging his country's president to step up negotiations for his release after apparently being arrested by a jihadi Islamist group. Last week, Tunisian Foreign Minister Mangi Hamid announced militants had demanded the release of Islamist fighters detained in Tunisia and warned that the government was considering reducing its diplomatic mission in the country. Instability remains widespread in Libya. Attacks on Libyan media, institution and ministries are common as the army struggles to control former rebels and Islamist militants trying to fill the power vacuum since the ousting of dictator Muammar Gaddafi. Last October, Prime Minister Ali Zidane was briefly kidnapped by a militant group called the Libyan Revolutionaries. Embassies and diplomats have also been targeted. The most high-profile attack was in September 2012, when Al-Qaeda-linked militants attacked the US consulate in Benghazi, killing the ambassador, Christopher Stevens, and three others.